What's up, everybody? Big Herc 916. You're getting down with another episode of Prison Talk. I'm here with Miss Huntsman. And uh, you guys have been asking for a female on the show, so we got a female to kind of give you her perspective. And uh, a lot of you guys be asking some crazy questions, man. You always be asking <laughs> this damn, you know, busting cheeks and what's going on with this and, and you know, the, the, the situation with, you know, uh, different things. And uh, I want to find out, because you guys have asked, have there been any uh, transgender situations that you ran across while in um, Dublin while you were doing time there? or Yes. I actually was a part of history in Dublin FCI. This is the first time in the history of prison that they actually allow a male to come to a female prison to stay. When I tell you this, this was a huge event. They shut down the whole yard. The whole prison got shut down. It was talked about for weeks preparing for him to come. The story that I got on it was he was he did a lot of time in federal prison, like, I don't know, maybe 15 years or something like that. And he had all of these relationships going on in the prison. And he petitioned, of course, like, I'm tired of being abused and raped and molested. And I'm a woman. I feel that I am a woman. I'm not true. I'm not sure about this, but I heard that he castrated himself. He castrated himself? That's what I heard. I'm not sure about it. Actually, he lives out here. Hopefully, he'll be on my shop, but I can get you in contact with him. Oh, wow. And they brought him to the prison with the women. Walked around. He was a man, a whole man, but he seen himself as a woman. And, you know, he. And you know what's crazy? A lot of the prison guards, I caught a lot of the male guards. I am him in a certain type of way. Like, really, like, you know how you can tell, like, no, you wasn't looking at him like that. You was looking at oh, him wow. like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but yeah, he had, you know, I don't know if for sure if he still had his penis, but... Did, some, he, did he shower with the regular women? And he everything? did everything with the women. First time ever. I think in the history of America that this has happened. So... Now, when the women go to shower, is it like individual stalls or is it an open area where you shower? Or? No, it was individual stalls. Okay, okay. So, I don't know what would happen if, if it was open. What would, I guess they would have allowed him to... Because I know, like, there's individuals, there are some individual stalls, but in the men's USP, there's the open area and you ain't, you know what I mean? He had it's a like... female, he had a roommate. All the, this is a female prison and he was an inmate. So, was he having relations too? Not with me. <laughs> 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 I, don't know. Uh, I actually ate breakfast with him every morning. Oh yeah, yes. And was was, was like he was he cool with you? Was he was like kind of yes. as a person? Yes, he was like I was so interested in his story. Like, so he was getting abused in men's prison. They just was. He didn't really tell me he was being abused. He okay. had relationships. I don't know what the circumstances was for them to actually put this man in a woman's wow. prison. Yeah, to get he for, didn't have the operation. This was a man. Like, it wasn't like he, even if men do have operation, they still put them, because you are a man, they put them in a man's prison. I think you'd be in a medical facility. Maybe a medical facility, but you're not supposed to be in a whole woman's prison. No, because I've heard stories. I wasn't there in particular, but I heard they had a male who had some post-surgery, but I think, I don't know if they still had the, the wang wang, you know what I mean? But they had them separated, and there was... P apparently guys trying to get up there to, to give them gifts and all type of trying I'm to get their groove on because that's what you know what I mean but it was separated but I've never um, in all my time seen uh, you know I've seen some stuff now I've seen somebody have a relationship with somebody but it was a male male but you know uh, you know I didn't I didn't know the particulars no this was a man tall man and were the other female inmates like trying to get close? How were they? How they handled? He was a celebrity touch. So it's like how the hell they let this man up in here? So everybody flocked to him. I would say for the first month or so, and then it kind of like you know, okay. you one of us now. Like you, yeah. everybody used to him, but yeah. Wow. And how long were they there? <laughs> he was there. He got out after me. Actually, a friend of mine always see him on the train um, in Hollywood. Mm. So he's out here in L.A. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Now, now I know 
in the state, they have, uh, from what I understand, conjugal visits if you're married. And they don't have, I know in the feds, they didn't have any conjugal visits for men. Did they have any for women? No. Now, in the visiting, can you touch or kiss or any of that? Was there... I didn't get visits, so. Okay. Um, but um, they had contact visits up at Dublin. I don't know if they let them do all of that, but. Yeah, because I know, like, in the, in the feds, especially if you, if you know, <laughs> the guards, you know, if, if your woman is any, anything pretty, they trying to get at her on the way out. And yeah. It's just a scandal. Yeah, you know, they that's like, you know, they, they hate and they're not trying to really. And if you do, they like, oh, well, your people didn't wear the right clothes. They turn them around. Yeah. So they done drove all the way out there and came to come visit. So it's a lot of drama. Yeah, it's a lot of that. So they make it difficult. You know what I'm saying? Again, like I said, they human, so they be hating on things. Like, you know, you getting visits. You got a beautiful woman coming or the men. But um, I, unfortunately for me, I really don't know much about visits because I didn't get them. Yeah, I was the same way. You know, I don't know if you had a chance to see that show, Orange is the New Black, but is that any, is that just no, all no. Hollywood that's garbage? that's the Hollywood bullshit. See, that's what I'm talking about. That, and then people are like, the Orange is the New Black, that's how prison is. Even having children ask me that, I'm like, no, it's not. Yeah. It's nothing like that. Yeah. Stop faking and funking and acting like you just know. See, they try to make it seem like you go there and be cool. The part, it's like, no, you know, no. you're hanging out with your friends, you're doing this, and then they sneak around doing this, and the guards, like, giving you this and having... <laughs> You got people in there who's losing family members. You got people in there that's fighting, struggling with mental health issues. You got people in there that it's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's hurt every day. You figure out how to live in there, but everybody in there want to get out. Don't nobody want to stay there. Okay? Don't nobody yeah. want to wake up every day in this, I don't know how many feet wide or whatever, and it's still like metal built. Yeah. yeah. It's like a bathroom. I told people, do that? there is no... There's nobody I knew hardcore. I done talked to lifers, break down and was crying, man. Yeah. Like, I wish I can get out. I've been down 15 years, man. I, I wish I can go home. They, don't nobody hard as hard. They don't want to be in there. No. Yeah. Breaking down, crying, some people trying to kill themselves. They can't take it no more. So who the hell, I don't know why they, that's that Hollywood. Now was Dublin, was it cells or dorm living? We had cells okay. in Dublin, it was okay. no dorms. Yeah. And that, 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 you know how it sound when they close that door oh, and lock man, it. Yeah, that thing, man. It's nightmares about that. Yeah. You hear the key turn, you know it's time to get up. Yeah. That click. Just door. loud and oh, just man, hard. It's and it's horrible. Yeah. It's horrible, man. Hey, y'all. Uh, <laughs> you asked the question, so I try to give you the answer <laughs> as, as clear as possible. But, you know, here you have it from Ms. Huntsman. It, it wasn't no party up in there. Mm -hmm. It wasn't no oranges, new black. With no 60 days in and everybody yeah. lovey-dovey because if they had the opportunity to have a real relationship on the street, they would have been having that relationship. Yeah. You know, I mean, nobody wants to not have intimacy and somebody to love them. And, you know, it don't matter if you're male or female, you know what I mean? You want to be out on the street with your family. Yeah, absolutely. So, so. Yeah. There you have it. Big Herc 916 Prison Talk. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com.
of like basically trying to get mine. He was doing twenty something years. Damn. So, See, look, when what? Together, yeah, right, MPC, yeah. Right? Women up in there making extra, you know, twenty thousand a month. Jesus, Louise. They said Big Meech got a couple women pregnant up in there. <laughs> a couple guards. <laughs> uh, you know, look, it. dropped her bins at the house. Look, you know, I'm trying to have not, you know, I'm in here doing this time. I need to still have some family. Yeah. So, you know, if you balling like that and they know you got that money, it's like, shoot. They don't get you know, because the bottom line, even though, you know, you say like a dude's locked up, but you, you, some of these dudes only stand up. That's why I do like, oh, why you want to mess with a dude in prison? Because you a buster. Right. You really ain't come like that. You can be this dude on the street and this and that, but when a real man come around, you know you ain't like that. Right. You want him out the picture. Right. So what's left, it's like you said, the studs, what's left is a, a weak litter. You got dudes running around now on some real feminine, yeah, real funny style. Up, yeah. The dudes ain't, they, they don't know how to protect. They just funny style. They, they real emotional. They're, the real men, they, they done did all the time when they get out. It's like they ain't even here to, to continue because they missed out on that whole raising stuff. So now you got a fucked up generation of men yeah. who have no male traits, even though they men, but they like these baby boys. They just weak. That's what I call them, they baby, baby boys. boys. Baby they don't want to leave. They're not cut like they don't know how to handle situations. They just, you know, they real uh, just passive. You know what I mean? They don't have any backbone. Nope. So that's I what's left. I totally agree with that. Where did you do your time at? Uh, Lompoc USP, Sheridan uh, FCI, and then Herlong FCI. How long did you do? Eight years, eight months. Uh, let me see. Those relationships in prison are yeah. so limited, though. They don't play. <laughs> I mean, when uh. I was a <laughs> <laughs> like you, I'm saying, like a man with a full beard oh, that it looked like, I'm like, who is it? Like, you know, <laughs> I'm looking at the facility. Yeah, you're like, what are they doing in here? <laughs> I had no uniform on, so that ain't no officer, but I mean, because some of these women, they were like transitioning uh, to men, but they just didn't have a surgery yet. So if they uh, have with female parts, they send them to the women's water. prison. I'm glad you're like a complete man, they take the, the hormones. Hormone. See, in a men's prison, I think if they had any type of post-op surgery, they were in medical. So no, they I got have... something for you, though. Oh, yeah? You got a story? I got something for you. Okay, we're going, we're, we're going to tie it in, then. We're going to talk about... Uh, um... I actually, you know, Dublin, we actually had the first male... They put them in there with us. When I tell you this was a big event at Dublin FCI. Oh, hold on. We're going to get some <laughs> Okay. You shut the whole shit down. Okay. Uh, is the camera rolling in? Yeah. All right. Let me make sure your mic's on. Uh, okay. It's on. 